she was a healthy 16 year old at Freeport High School just a few years ago, but tonight 19 year old Alexis Rodriguez is suffering from a disease only 80 children worldwide have. And tonight her family spoke to us about her battle with this disease and their plea for help. The first seizure was in 2016. Um, they put her on Capra uh, as maintenance. And for two years, Alexis Rodriguez went without suffering from a seizure. But then her mother, Alta Gracia, says out of the blue, they came back and more frequently. She would complain to me um, that she felt like she was losing time um, when she was in the classroom. His mom says Alexis told her when the teacher was speaking, she felt like she was lost. Alexis was having what's called absence seizures, and no one had any idea. And after listening to her symptoms, the doctors suggested genetic testing. And then in 2018, we learned that she had this ultra rare terminal disease called Lafora. So rare that less than 100 children worldwide have been diagnosed with this disease. It's the worst form of epilepsy, a degenerative disease that in most cases results in death 10 years after the symptoms begin. Right now, Alexis can no longer walk and her speech has become difficult to understand. This illness robs them of everything. But all the Prasia and the rest of them are now doing with help of experimental drugs and other treatments, there might be a way to slow this disease down while a cure is being worked on. And Alexis's doctor says the end game for some patients is longer than others. Well, I have some patients that have had the disease now for over 20 years, which is unusual. And while the experts work on a cure, a GoFundMe page has been set up in the hopes of raising $150,000 that would literally buy Alexis more time. Yeah. Yeah. Time for moments like this one, enjoying one of her many passions, music with her mother. <laughs> we, love we love you. you. We love you. Now, 100% of the proceeds will go towards the cost of a medication Alexis's doctors have actually applied for FDA approval of. And of course, those expenses uh, and any additional expenses that may come up during the process. We have all that information on our website if you'd like to help that family, which sure needs it.